So Logos was started in 2010. It was started to serve families who weren't being served by the traditional schools. These are families that used to be called homeschoolers, but now they want to have some engagement with the traditional public schools. Innovation is really important in education. And as we know, the world keeps changing and the pandemic changed things. Charter schools in Oregon, the law says that our job is to take reasonable risks around education, that our job is to be models and catalysts. And so well back before the pandemic started in 2010, we started this hybrid type of education. So when the pandemic struck, we actually didn't miss a beat. We were able to keep going and the kids were getting a great education throughout all that scary time in the last two years. When the pandemic struck, we actually got calls from districts across the state saying, how do you do what you do? Help us out. And that's exactly why charter schools were founded in Oregon and we were happy to help. And I talked to them about how to get kids a great education that isn't just online, Zoom on the other side of a, a screen. One of the things that people ask us a lot about is what about getting help whenever they a student is stuck? If the teacher's only seeing them once a week or you know not as often as they would in a traditional school. So what we've done is we have a tutoring room that has math tutors, because mostly we see that the help is in math, but these tutors are great and they can help in any subject. And so students can come to our school and be brought to the tutoring all day, every day, and get help with every subject if they're, if they're doing online or book work. Work. One of our tutors is also virtual all day. So if a student is stuck and their teacher, uh, their traditional regular teacher, isn't seeing them that day, they can also get help from our tutors. So we want to wrap around and provide services all day, every school day, for every student who ever has a question or needs help. We used to have a very small facility and the demand for classes at our school has grown and grown and grown and people want to do some classes at school and some classes at home and some classes online. And so we built a school building, which is really rare for a charter school. It has 12 classrooms. It has another 12 meeting rooms for our teachers and our students to meet weekly and talk about how their week's going and how their education's going and if they need some help with something. Teachers will meet every week with every student that they work with on their caseload. We serve 1,100 K-12 students at our school and we will be growing with our charter contract 50 students next year and the year after that. So by the end of this contract that we're in right now, we will be up to 1,310 students by 2025. We have about 80 graduates every year and every year we seem to have around seven sometimes 10, the last year was our biggest number of students who graduate with their associate's degree. Now I will tell you that our college people are more proud of the fact that almost every student gets some kind of college credits while in high school. So it's a one step into either college or technical education. We also had three students that graduated with their technical education certificates as well. So it gives kids a foot into their future. So while we did have 10 students, which is fantastic, that graduated with their associate's degree, it's more fantastic than the number of the rest of our students that graduated with some kind of credits while they were in high school. Diversity is a huge strength of Logos. And so we try and offer all these activities because we have students from across the spectrum in their interests. We have students from across the spectrum in their ability. We have students who really were struggling in the traditional school. And we felt like, and we were told that we really have made a difference in their life. And that's, that's really important. And not only that, we have students who have had health concerns, they've had migraines, we've had students with cancer who can't go to school every day. We currently have students who have come from a school that they were bullied. One of the great things about Logos is we can find a space for them and they become like a family here. It doesn't matter what their interests are because we have, everybody has interests all over the place at our school and it's a really great place to be. Almost everybody who ever sees how successful we've been, how differently we do things, say they believe that this is the future of education. Oregon education is changing, it just is. There will always be a role for the traditional school, but I think that if we don't embrace this role for a hybrid type school in Oregon, that we're missing out, and we're missing out on what could be a great education for a lot of students in the future. What I see in the future is schools like this that are providing kids a great education, and we have so much technology available to us now that kids can learn in a classroom without walls a lot of times. And our job as Oregon educators is to make sure that we are keeping up with the future. And the future includes schools like this.
I invited the Oregon Department of Education to come to Logos because we are so different and it's important for you to see what we do and do differently. I think that it can be a great future for the students in Oregon, that we don't exclude students who want something different in their education and that we really work hard together to do this well. And I think the Oregon Department of Education can help us all craft rules around this that makes this a great future for students in Oregon.